Hey YouTube, I got some new fish and today we're going to go check them out. My name is Jake and this is Raccoon Creek Aquatics where we talk about aquarium topics in general and planet tanks in particular. I have a lot of new and exciting projects coming up including the 125 gallon planet tank setup. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing so you don't miss anything. We talked about how I'm not planning on keeping any live plants in this tank behind me, at least not yet. Then I asked, what do you guys think I should or will keep in this tank? There were some great suggestions such as cichlids or the peacock goby, but I was fascinated in something else. I decided to make this tank a North American native stream tank. I was really interested in keeping fish that might live in the area where I'm from. Take a look at the map that shows where they may live and see if they live in a stream near you. So I got the idea of a native tank when I was researching and trying to get some ideas. Then I realized there are a lot of colorful fish right here in my backyard that a lot of people don't even know about. That and keeping native fish isn't real common in my area, at least not that I know of. The species I just added to this tank are two rainbow darters and one green sided darter. We'll talk a little bit about these species today, but we'll go more in depth in a later video. I was really impressed with the potential colors of these species. Take a look at the picture of how colorful they can be. The fish in this tank are already starting to color up. I'm currently feeding these guys live snails, but the plan is to try some new things and eventually get these guys off of live foods. These fish are really fun to watch. I really enjoy watching them scurry along the bottom of the tank. They even turn their head to look around. I've been saying all along that I'm not planning on keeping plants in this tank. But the more and more I think about it, the more appealing keeping plants in it is. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment, should I keep some plants that are native to North America? I'm really happy with these three little fish so far. I still need to get a fish that's going to inhabit the water column, so stay tuned for that. I'll see you next time. 